Welcome back. I'm Zanzi, your Feel Good Breakfast Show. And with the hustle and bustle of everyday life, your home definitely is something that should be the one where, the one place where you can relax. It should be your sanctuary. And there's no better place to create a relaxation station than in your bathroom, right? We spend a lot of time there. So someone, uh, well, we've got two incredible people here to give us tips, top tips and tricks for making a DIY spa day in our bathroom and making it something that's uh, easy for cleaning specialists from something that helps us clean things so much. Now, these two incredible people are from the Cleaning Fix. Home hero, Petronella Lillian Mutia Vavariri, as well as head of marketing, Samantha Lee O'Leary. Ladies, thank you so much for coming through. This is exciting stuff because we all need this in our home. We need a sacred space and a space that is clean at the same time. So Lillian, maybe I can ask this one to you. How do we, uh, how should we be cleaning our bathroom and what sort of products do we use to kind of maintain good bathroom hygiene? Okay, so for the bathroom, um, we use for the modes, we use uh, modes cleaner. So um, like you can take, you like, can, can clean like three times a week or once a week. So for the Curtains, you can use um, shower spray okay. to get rid of the midges, you know. Um, then for the sinks, you can use also shower, uh, shower, spray, to, shower spray to spray, then clean in the, and, um, in the toilet as well, and the bathroom also. So you can, so, um, you can also, to, ma to, maintain, to maintain the most cleaner, you also you, you must also leave the, the shower when you, get, when you shower. You also leave, must also leave the, the windows open and the shower also open so the air will come, come in. Of course, for ventilation yeah. and yeah, for effort, yeah, right? Because yeah. I mean, imagine without that, you're going to get things like mold and mold you in your bathrooms, yeah, right? So what, what sort of measures can we take beyond that to prevent mold and mold you? Is there anything else we can add to that? Yes, you can use the mold cleaner to, yeah. to, to clean. And also you can use also vinegar also. Vinegar, oh vinegar, nice, yeah. okay. You can also you can spray vinegar also to, on the spots. It also removes it. Then for, for the glasses, for the, you know there's a glasses yes. also. You can also use the window lint to spray and use a soft cloth to wipe. And also the, uh, you can also mix the vinegar and and the warm water and um, and a little bit of sunlight and you mix them. Then you can wash also with the soft cloth and the wipe and the, um, the dry cloth also. So I think I the key that. with like a bathroom is obviously you want to keep everything as dry as possible. Mm. So also things like towels, um, you want to replace them as frequently as possible. Don't let them sit and you know get damp. And then also something you can do is to spray down your shower um, after, <laughs> sounds a little excessive, but actually to get a shower spray and to just do a quick like blitz. Some people will squeegee their showers just to reduce some of the moisture. So yeah, there's, it's basically based on moisture, I think. Keep things as dry as possible. And, and eliminate that. Yeah. And you mentioned something like uh, your towel and not keeping yes. those things around for long. Yeah. What happens when you're talking about things like your shower curtain, your bath mat, your toothbrush? Are those things that uh, we should often be replacing as yeah, well? Yeah, like once a week, uh, once a week you must, must the, remove the mess, the mat, the mat also, and the toothbrush holders, you can also replace them, you can wash them. Then so things like toothbrush holders is what she said, is like we often forget to replace <laughs> our toothbrush holders, but that's sort and of... is that like water yeah, that yeah, kind of collects them? So every, to, every week you can yeah. change them also. Yeah. And that's, that makes a lot of sense. Now, we've spoken about cleaning, we've spoken about the fact that we also need to repetitively take out some of these items from the bathroom, yeah. make sure that they're clean. But what f steps can we follow when it comes to cleaning different surfaces in the bathroom? Like towels, mirrors, countertops. You mentioned, obviously, those sort of um, hard-to-get crevices where the mold appears. You mentioned mm -hmm. glass, but... There's a lot more on the surfaces. We've got tiles, we've got mirrors, like you mentioned, and we have glass. So do they all need a different type of cleaning agent? Yeah, like for the mirrors, you see the mirrors, you can use uh, windowing only for the mirrors. Yeah. Then for the, you see there's a, for the, um, for the tops, some, some, some people they have like uh, wooden, you can use. Wooden countertops yes, or wooden, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you can use um, Mr. Mean. You can, can't use water. Can, yeah, and also for the floors, also if the if it if the floor is uh, towel cleaner, can use like um, towel cleaners or towel cleaner um, 
or here in the end also for the floors. When the floors are the wooden ones, you can use a um, wooden cleaner. You don't use water for the, or you don't use like uh, other uh, other cleaning stuff. Mm. So you can use, um, you can use, um, uh, yeah, wooden like cleaner, wood. yeah. Right, so you mentioned with the countertops and the floor, obviously, if it is wood, stay away from using water. Water, yeah, like that's going to damage that, uh, the wood, the wooden top. Ah. Yeah. All right, well, this, this is making sense, and I know a lot of us are going to want to capitalize on a lot of these tips. So, <laughs> ladies, thank you for coming through. Thank you for serving. And I know everybody's not spring cleaning, but definitely cleaning for the festive season. A lot of guests coming through. So, this is valuable advice. I can't thank you enough for coming through and sharing this with us. I think we're a lot more prepared and ready to keep our home and turn it into a sanctuary. And that's thanks to the two of you. So, Samantha and uh, Petronella, thank you so much. And again, to you, Mzanzi, it's time for us to keep our bathrooms clean. And it has never been easier thanks to Twin Saver. And now they are giving you one better as they give you a chance to win one of 10 bathroom makeovers worth 30,000 Rand each. It's really simple. Just go to twinsaver.ca.za for more info and dive into all this magic. And I hope that you can keep your space and your sanctuary clean and hygiene. <laughs>